So welcome to the Saxo Web Trader website. This is where you will come to buy and trade shares if you're with Saxo. Unfortunately, like all these brokers, they're all out to make their own pound of flesh out of you. So you need to know really what you need to do, or really what you need not to do. So the first thing is ignore all of these things at the top, futures and future options, and I don't know what it is. You don't need it, just go to stocks. Um, in here, I'm going to close that. They'll constantly kind of try to bombard you with peripherals that you don't really need. What you do need, I would say, is the watch list. In here, I type in the name of a, a ticker of a stock or an ETF I want to buy. I'm going to put in VT for now. Up it comes. I want uh, this one. If you're not sure, you can always click on it later. That then it will list it in your list of favorites if you like. It's like having a bookmarked website. If you look down at the bottom of the screen, you can see that my account is nominated in British pounds and you can see that I have a cash balance currently of 12 pounds and 72 pence and I have got a value of about 11,000 pounds in terms of what I've actually spent so far in the last few months. So um, if I wanted to buy VT, which I don't, so I'm going to remove that, um, if I wanted to buy let's say here some, some government bonds um, I would go here, it's got a bid, I'm not really bothered about bid and ask price, I just click on ask um, up it comes, I want to buy. At this point, I think it's fairly straightforward. You can just say how many shares you want. So I'm going to type in here. They're currently trading, if you look here, uh, they're going trading in British pounds. That's what I want. I don't want to be doing currency conversion. I've already paid to transfer to change my currency from Singapore dollars into pounds. Currently trading at 19 pounds and 46p. So I'm going to say in here, give me, uh, give me 100 shares. That's going to cost me. 1,941 pounds, obviously you can change this number, what if I put in 90? And you can fiddle around here or do the math of the calculator. When you've got a number here that you like, it's going to cost me 20 pounds to make the transaction. It's going to be worth 1,746 1, pounds and 99 pence. And buy, I don't put on limit, I just put market. That basically means um, just buy it, whatever it's trading at. I'm not worried about trying to gain the market and get a price if it goes lower, just whatever it is, I'll buy to that. Some people who do this for a living, uh, and especially if they're spending vast amounts of money, it can make sense. Uh, just a few cents in difference can mean thousands of pounds. But that's not us, so ignore all of that and click place order. At this point, it will give you one last chance to back out and then place order. In my case, ding, I don't have enough money because I've only got £12.72p. Um, but normally what would have happened is it would go through and I get a receipt type of thing saying here's how much you've purchased. So don't delay, buy some today.